Um, at Telstra, we have announced our network of the future, and we have talked about um, our network evolution 2020. I am in actually in the Networks 2020 Transformation Group, where we are um, trying to look at how we're going to how we're going to transform, and we do have uh, an architecture. So we're going from this spaghetti mesh. So if we think about what has happened over the years is, of course, when we say end-to-end -end service management, I love to hear end-to-end -end service management because I'd love to know which domain are we talking about? Are we talking about end-to-end -end service management for the transport domain or for the access domain or for the wireless domain or for consumer side? the retail or the enterprise side, or is it gonna be from my wholesale side, or what are we actually talking about here? And that's what's happened over the years, is that we have organizations, and the organization, the, we were fixed, and then we moved to wireless. Well, the wireless became its own silo. We build up with the you know, network equipment, and then we had the, the OSS, and it's BSS, and so on, and then we, got a new, we went fiber and we had a new access and, and so on. So we have all of these things and we have multiple versions of these things, which causes us to have more and more. And now we move into virtualization. Think about it. Great standards, now we're adding more spaghetti to this, right? So we have to mesh everything again with, with our IT systems. Now the way that we work today, is we have a new project, or we have a new, let's say we want to do a network slice. That's going to be fun, right? The network slice is going to go across, you know, the access, the transport, the edge, and, and all of those different versions. And then it's going to be a mixture of virtualization and a mixture of physical. And then we basically bring a person from each of the different groups, or more of them, and then we say, okay, so we want to do a network, a network slice. So, what do I need to provision from you, Access? What do I need to provision from you? What do I need to provision from you? And then how many systems do we need to buy? How many systems do we need to touch? And everybody comes back with their estimate, which is over millions and millions of dollars for any new things happening. Because guess what? All that spaghetti is being touched. Every single time we touch a piece, a layer of that spaghetti, it costs money and it costs millions of dollars. And we can't sustain that, you know? Tim said in his, um, in his side that, you know, that's not the top things. Well, in fact, it is part of the tough thing because if we create automation and we keep on just adding layers and layers and layers of things, then it's gonna cost us so much money in doing the integration and in supporting all of that integration that we won't survive. Innovation, budget for innovation is this much compared to sustaining all of these platforms that we have out there. So we can't afford innovation because it costs us too much in maintenance. So we wanna to try to get out of that, out of just doing all of this spending money for all we're doing is, is maintaining things. Where do we want to go? We want to go where the conversation moves from what do I need to configure because all of my IT systems understand all the way down to every single bit of resources. I don't want that anymore. I don't want my IT system, my OSS and BSS, I don't want them to know anything about resources anymore. All I want, who's heard NAS, Network as a Service, right? We talked about that for years, for years. Oh, a service provider need to expose their network capabilities and da, da, da. Well, we are doing it. Guess what? We're finally doing it. This is our architecture. This is where we are moving. We are actually going to go and expose services from our network. That's the only way we believe we can finally reduce the cost of integration and increase the amount of innovation we can have. And I need, I need every one of my domain
to expose services capabilities. So I changed the conversation from what, what are the resources I need to have configured and I need to support and so on to, okay, so access. You are exposing these services. Do we need to change one parameter in, in the payload of my APIs here? Or do you need to expose a new service? Or can I reuse what you're already exposing? Transport, can I reuse what you're exposing? Or do I need to, to change one little thing here? And then I go on and on and on for all of my domains. Think about that. So Tim, we're also highlighting the fact that culture has to change. Seriously, culture has to change because today, I did an assessment of all of our domains at, at Telstra, all of our largest domain, and guess what? They're certainly not ready to expose anything today, and they don't understand what will be the service definition. And I think it was Tim as well that had you know, highlighted that service definition is, is a big thing. Because if, to expose anything, we had to know what to expose. Because we have to know about the regular, the, the granularity of that service definition. Because you want to be able to reuse, you want to maximum the reuse of that service so that you don't have to create a new service and expose a new service all the time. You want to be able to reuse that as often as you can. So talk about reuse of the service that is being exposed. That's our biggest, biggest key. And so Telstra has put a contribution, you know, Nurit has talked about all of the different um, reports that are coming up and the 001 was about user requirements. So we have put out a, a contribution that talks about, you know, if we were to do two different slices for two different customers, you know, as I talked about, to do a slice means access, transport, edge, transport, core, GI LAN, and operations, all of these things have to come in play to deliver one end-to-end -end slice, right? So what I need is to change the conversation, and I need for all of my group to expose services that can be combined such that I can create either the slice in blue or the slice in purple without changing hardly anything, because it's only going to be a configuration change that I'm going to say it's going to be this type of slice or that type of slice. I should be able to have that. So we got we got in a quite a lot of support. We have about 12 companies that supported our contribution. So they will believe that it was um, uh, a good idea to do it this way. And the priorities is that each domain basically would expose services using uh, standard REST API. Um, we have made a decision within Telstra that we're going to be using TM Forum APIs um, because they're technology uh, um, agnostic. Um, we also want to have each domain to support the complete life cycle of services, including their closed loop. I mean, we do believe that with virtualization, you need to be able to do the assurance within a domain. So they have to have the responsibility for closing that loop within that domain. And if they can't solve it, then they have to alert higher up in the chain. But they should have the capability to, to basically do the things within that domain firsthand. Each domain need to evolve independently from the OSS and BSS, and that's where I'm going to reduce my costs significantly significantly, if the OSSBSs don't need to know about all of the resources, which is where all the changes happen, um, it's going to reduce significantly our costs. And so the network slice automation needs to be achieved, we believe, across, so across all of the domains. And there's automation that also needs to happen within a domain. So I believe there's definitely lots of work to be done in terms of automation and where Etsy ZSM plays a tremendous role, but it needs to be done leveraging another way that the industry needs to rethink about doing it and not trying to build another, you know, mano and another end-to-end service here and another end-to-end -end service here across all of our organizational boundaries and all of those things because it just adds more taxes to the cost. Okay, thank you.